The United States may have given our government the go-ahead to sell our ageing Skyhawks, but another twist has emerged in the long-running saga. Doubts have been raised about the American company set to buy the former Air Force planes. Representatives from the firm have just vis visited New Zealand to complete test flights. Michael Parkin's been investigating. Grounded for good. Last week our Air Mackies made their final flight, but the Air Force wouldn't let One News film the last hurrah, as it looks to distance itself from the potential sale of our beleaguered combat wing to Arizona-based Tactical Air Services. We're certainly further ahead than we ever have been uh, before in the sales process, and last week two TAS pilots came to New Zealand. Uh, they had several short uh, flights in the Air Mackies, uh, and they've now gone back to the United States. It's been a long wait for the 17 trainers and 17 Skyhawks for company boss Larry Hoss Pearson. The former Navy pilot has been in the picture for eight years. In 2003, Pearson was head of another private US government contractor, Advanced Training Systems International, which was named by the previous government as the purchaser of the ageing fighters. His company wanted to add the Kiwi planes to its existing fleet of retired Israeli Skyhawks to train foreign fighter pilots in Arizona. But second time around, there are still doubts about his abilities to pull off this manoeuvre. Technical Air Services is a pretty much a one-man band company, Hoss Pearson. Um, its revenue last uh, financial year from US company documents was only around $400,000. Um, to be buying a fleet of 34 aircraft, $110 million US, you need pretty significant cash flow. Pearson, a Vietnam vet, is certainly used to taking risks. During the 1980s, he was commander of the US Navy's Blue Angels, its aerobatic team. According to the Los Angeles Times, he was reprimanded after being accused of having an affair with a female junior officer in 1991 and retired from service. As a civilian test pilot, he was involved in the US stealth fighter and bomber programs. One News tried numerous times to get in touch with Larry Pearson, a man even the minister admits she's had no direct contact with. This is all we got. You have reached the Sprint PCS voicemail box of... Hoss Pearson. But Heather Roy says Larry Pearson has been awarded defence contracts to supply US flight training and she's optimistic about the sale. Oh, I think that it's always been the case that he would need a partner of some sort to assist with the financial side of a deal. A deal that seemed to be pie in the sky for so long. Michael Parkin, One News.